Welcome to Henley on Thames. Well, Paul seems to have disappeared, so I've got a mermaid to help me with today's show. So, let's get started. Bad nights I've been haunted by the past nights I remind you of the bad times I've been blinded by the gaslight I've been blinded by the Last night I said some shit I can't take back A little bit of something You know that Been 40 minutes now I gotta quit I guess I did it for the hell of it For the weekly newspaper in Henley is the Henley Standard and it's one of the few independent newspapers still around in the UK today. This is St Mary the Virgin Church in Henley and it lies on the banks of the Thames. Doesn't it, Paul? It certainly does. And it's a fabulous location and on a day like this with bright sunshine and blue skies, you couldn't ask for anything better. The first time that I visited England, I stayed with my brother who was living in Buckinghamshire at the time. And I came over with my mother and we came to Henley on Thames. I've got a photograph, I just wish I could find it. It's in my archive somewhere of us standing at the Oxfordshire sign because Henley is just within the borders of Oxfordshire and it's amazing because I, I found that picture maybe within the last couple of years and it made me think I've got to come to Henley again and that was back in 1986 So Henley is most famous for its regatta, held every summer. So let's find out a bit more about this annual event. The Henley Royal Regatta is the highlight of the summer rowing season. It is attended by 300,000 people a year during the boat racing weekend. Look Paul, there's a mermaid down there. Look at their eyes! Wow, you're a big boy, aren't you? Well, it's lovely just to have a walk down by the river's edge. I have to be careful because there's no barrier here. Don't fall off. <laughs> and the last thing I want to do is end up in the river with the All ducks. wet. Yes. 
So anyway, we've been blessed with a glorious winter's sunny day here. Oh, isn't this amazing? It's amazing. And it's been a while, as I said, since we've been to Henley. And um, I think it's, there's so much to explore around here. It's got lots of little independent shops, um, which you're not going to find in many other places, and certainly not in the, the number that they have. And it is very unique, it is. for and, sure. And of course, you've got the whole river to enjoy. You could take a lovely, fabulous little walk through Mill Meadows. It says that the obelisk originally had a pump attached for washing streets after market days, but its use was discontinued in 1797. It was removed to the junction of the Marlow Road and remained there until 1970 when the new road system was introduced. As part of Henley's history, it now serves as a link with the past. Thanks for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yes, do. Please subscribe. I mean, really, please subscribe. I'm standing outside the Red Lion Hotel and Pub. It's one of many hostelries to be found in Henley. In fact, at one point in history, there were more pubs per capita in Henley than anywhere else across Britain. go to a lovely pub for lunch, Paul. Wouldn't I just? We made it to the Anchor in Henley-on-Thames and I'm having a Warsteiner, which is a nice lager, I think. Yours is one of those bitters. Yours is a Brax beer, I think. This is the beef bourguignon. Oh boy, doesn't this look amazing? Okay, only one thing to do, as Marcus would say. It's time to tuck in. Wow, isn't this amazing? I found out that Braxbeer is located in Henley. I thought that Henley was only renowned for its regatta. I didn't know about the beer. So I am learning something new today. Foamy foods and horses. Hmm. That's funny. <laughs> What? This is the Anne Boleyn Cottage? Oh, I think you might be right, because look, it says next door is Tudor Cottage. Ah, more Tudor era houses, it looks like, doesn't it? Barnaby Cottages. Given by William Barnaby, 1582, and divided into five cottages. Wow. Very nice looking. This is Bell Street. It's one of the main shopping streets in Henley. And it's where you're gonna find lots of those little independent stores that I mentioned earlier on in the show. Cafes and restaurants as well. Um, I've just passed a bookshop. Uh, Paul was looking at the expensive teddy bears. Um, so there's everything down here. Oh, I've just spotted the cinema as well. Ah, the Regal Picture House. I remember going here couple of times way back in the day. It was a nice little cinema. Oh, and look behind it. What's that? It's Waitrose. What is this building? 
It's the town hall. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah. Well, what a fabulous time we've had in Henley-on-Thames, haven't we, Paul? It, we were definitely blessed with the nice sunshine. The blue skies, absolutely fabulous, and just a walk down by the Thames is great food for the heart and the soul, I think. Body and mind. It certainly was. Well, that's it for today. Join us next time. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.